friends, I'm Chi. How you all doing, man? Today is another great day with Chi, man. Today we'll be hearing a whole lot of things that will blow your mind, you know, especially you guys who left Italy and went to other countries to seek asylum. Now you want to come back. You don't know how to go about it with Chi. You will know something at least that could help you give you a clue of what to do. Yes. And also, you have a Zillow. You want to know if you can travel direct. Here yeah, you hear it. I'm telling you, there's a way out, man. But just watch till the end okay so that you find out and also this traveling permit traveling permit certificate you know traveling permit certificate you need to get is very important before you travel it's very important i'm telling you as a migrant who is returning back to his country you want to leave italy you need this traveling permit okay or anywhere in this world at large okay and also um a whole lot of things like that a whole lot of things like that that you need to know so with chi you will find out all straight here okay yes if you're here for the first time why don't you please subscribe because here you get informations like this i'll keep you informed updated daily man you know because information is power key to every man's life man also to my friends who have already subscribed and those of you who soon subscribe today thank you very much you're welcome with chi man because here you get updated and like i told you before remember to share to your friends on whatsapp facebook tell them something is happening here with chi spreading the law okay all right moving straight now you as a nigerian be careful now traveling is very dangerous you know back home yes i'm telling you back home is very dangerous now you hear kidnappings the fulani has men on the highway robbing kidnapping people taking them for ransom for money just like what happened some days back you know travelers in the benin or a road you see how they were attacked and most of them taken into the forest you know you'd be wondering why did the police or the soldiers come to rescue them? at least with this uh, there's this helicopter that have sensor you know that can get the heat sensor to know their location even if they're hiding this um, sensor is, is able to detect the heat from the forest and know where they hide out and rescue these people but they refuse to do that you see a whole of cars lined up on the highway people deserted the cars ran into the bushes ran for their life those ones who were not able were caught man so the lucky ones were alive to tell the story just like i'm telling you now that's what they said so this is it roads are now dangerous you know but the federal government just keeping silent you're wondering why why are they keeping silent but just look at the biafran guys the esn how they went in olu you know if you're from that side emo state olu that region they went there and they attacked burnt houses they just shot sporadically to people anybody they see they shoot they kill people they burnt houses in pretense that they're looking for the esn those uh, eastern security network soldiers those guys in the forest saying they're guarding the forest against the full and men to make them vacate you know now these soldiers when they're killing people you know like chicken <laughs> it's crazy because sometimes you wonder if these people have blood in their veins look at when the hellsmen are there ravaging in the highway and other places, they, they want to go. They want to go. But these are the ones they're after. You know, uh, no thanks to those guys, those people guys who wore the soldier uniform carrying ammunition saying that they are waiting for signal from Nandekano to carry on attack. Well, Nandekano debunked the whole thing. He said, those guys are never from us. They are not part of us. So it's just like... Uh, what they call propaganda you know they try to portray those people make them make that video and then just use an excuse to just to attack to carry on their attack at any moment so that when the international community talk they say look at them they are terrorists look at their guns so if you watch that video you see those uh Igbo guys on uniform military uniform saying displaying their ammunition saying they are waiting for signal to carry on attack to start killing the flying husband which was never true it's not a propaganda video but when they have succeeded they just use that now they have used it as an excuse to come into the eastern region that's in Imo state precisely to be um all side you know killing people just to say they're looking for these guys <laughs> well it's shocking man and the governors are there keeping quiet <laughs> you know, you as a governor you know it's not surprising because most of us you know guilty you know you are, you voted for this kind of people in apc people now look at what they are giving back to you hell crying look at people who died just on sunday look at how they died you know but you 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 voted them in you stayed in the sun and next election is coming you still go out there to vote for them you know just like even even in your state you know the sunday idoho guy you know who 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 was uh kind of that guy is great man you can't call him a hero if you want you know telling these uh fulani men that they should just vacate but now i hear that they have made uh they have signed this uh, uh memorandum of understanding with the commission of police uh he's not going to do such thing again and the governors have said that no full enhancement is leaving but what i wonder is this when 
the, is it like normal for people to come and to your own state and take on your forest as their homes? Just like when you say the Yorubas when they travel or the Igbos or the Satanas when they travel to the north, they just go into the bushes to go there to live to live in the bushes and say that is their home you know normally if you travel to a state the normal thing is to go and rent a home rent a house and you know live there not going to people's ancestral homes their village their forest and convert it to your home many of them are in there uh, raping you know uh, killing kidnapping but it's normal for the northerners for the for the for this uh, uh this buhari man you know it's not it's normal for him not to talk about it you know, when you talk, they tell you it's one Nigeria, it's one Nigeria. Though the governor is saying, we're not asking them to vacate, to get deported out of the out of the state. We're saying that they should live like other people, other travelers. When you come in, rent a home. Don't go and take on the forest, re the forest places of the state and convert it to your own, own homes. Why do soldiers see these things? They don't want to attack those people. But rather, they are going for the ESN guys, Eastern Security Network guys, going to attack them. You know, so now look at what this Sunday Idoho guy said. He said, there's this doctor, Dr. Fatai, a PhD holder from abroad who just came back just to invest, you know, in agriculture. He employed a lot of people from his hometown, his father's place. Now, what did this Fulani has men do? They, they, they were kind of encroaching in his farms, you know, eating even his crops. So this guy went to the uh, Sarki Fulani's palace there in, uh, is it or your state or whatever, that Yoruba side. He went there to complain to the Sarki. That place he was now caught, tied and butchered, killed. A PhD holder who came to invest just because he came to complain against his against the Fulani headers who were there encroaching on his land, destroying his crops to the to their own king, and he was killed just like that. And you expect this uh, Yorubas to keep quiet? So this Sunday, Idaho guy, you know, he now saw what is happening, the insecurity happening in his own place. You know that guy, he has armies, man. <laughs> that guy too have his own armies. You wonder how these people create these armies with <laughs> wicked weapons. I'm telling you. So he went there. A lot of people said this guy is highly spiritual. So this guy went there, straight to the Sarki Fulani Palace there in that Yoruba land. I think of your state or, well, yeah, or your state, you should be there. So he went to the palace trying to tell the Sarki Fulani, like, hey, I don't want you, I don't like what your people are doing. We have been living in peace. But what happened? <laughs> One of the guys there said, Namburu Banka, Zakamutu, Zakamutu. So the Kaubundigan now, you know, like bring the gun. So they cocked the gun, but he struggled and collected the gun. The other one drew out knives. They said, Nyankaka, they said, Nyankaka. So from there, from there, one of the guys there cocked his ammunition. He like, he's gone and shot. Pow, pow. But the <laughs> shocking thing, was, I'm telling you, this bullet did not even penetrate this guy. This guy was like, you see, I did not come here for attack, but to tell you guys to do the right thing. If I came for attack, none of you will survive it. So he gave them their warning and he left. But still, the same thing continued. Not until he now reta they re retaliated and went there and burnt down the circle full any house and other things. So the country is a very dangerous place to be in right now, I'm telling you, because if you are traveling now, please, if you are traveling to anywhere, go with your flight, travel by air, not by road. Roads are dangerous for you guys who are desperate, you know. Yes, moving on to Italy now, Conte to resign. Yes, the guy is tired of all these backlash here and there, you know, because he couldn't get the absolute majority to run a smooth government. So now... He's like, he's going to resign. And, you know, unless Renzi, at least Renzi, come on, join this guy, man. Join this guy, man. Or you're having a plan with Salvini. What do you think? Do you think that this guy is going to really resign? Because if Salvini, if they should call for another election, like they are saying, when he resigns, Salvini is likely to win, man. Because this guy is having followers, I'm telling you. Ah, but God have mercy on the migrants because we want a better person there. I don't care who is resigning or, but let a new person who is going to come in be favorable, but not Salvini at all. That guy should not come. Nobody can forget what that guy did to migrants in a hurry. Nobody, I'm telling you. Yes. Now, moving straight, remember to do your speed. It's very important. Go to poster or calf and do it, okay? It's very important that you're easy because you can apply a lot of bonuses. Yes, I recommended the other time transfers, T R A N S. F-A-S-T, you know that money sending application, very good and mind-blowing rate they give. And also another one is IT transfer, I transfer, yes, I transfer, you can get in your Google Play Store, also you can do it online if you're having iPhone, I transfer. But remember that in your first transaction, they will tell you to go and pay the money, they will give you their own e-band, their own account, where you can go and pay the money from there. 
activation starts where you can now send with your card details and the rest of them so when they, you see that message coming asking to go and pay money in the through western union or moneygram don't be afraid at all or through your poster don't be afraid at all that is it transfer i transfer for you is very nice it's also having a very mind-blowing rate yes having said that remember that you can get bonuses with your easy like light bonus house uh, rent bonus also um gas and water bonus also you can go to the cafe and apply for all these things i'm telling you if you are living in a house in an apartment you can go and apply for these bonuses it doesn't matter anybody who have a house can go and apply for it provided that you did your easy with your house contract very important when you're doing your easy remember to include your house contract on it okay so that they will know that you have a house yes now remember that you who is going to give birth you have to apply for a senior maternita when you give birth in the commune or through the calf to the commune okay and also you can apply for bonus three fee you know if you're having three children you can go and apply that in the commune also also remember you can apply for mama bonus baby bonus carta acquisti yes easy is also applied minus the one of mama bonus the rest you have to use easy to apply for them okay so now let's go if you are coming back from any of these countries remember that one you can go to calf there are these calves that take care of these issues cgil you can go to them you know and you as a migrant who is in italy remember that any document issue that you want to know about you can also go to calf they can help you uh, tell you more that you need to know about it remember and also they can even give you a lawyer if possible they have helped a lot of people get sojourner renew sojourner a lot of things that you need as a migrant information so you can go to CAF. you want to know a lot of things about your document they can also help you with those information okay so remember that you coming back also you can also go to where red cross red cross have been helping a lot of people you know to even integrate them back to spra especially those of you who have your document or who doesn't even have documents that are that are returning back because you are scared that those countries could deport you because they have asked you to leave that they can't issue you asylum there so when you come back try to locate red cross so what you have to do just go to your uh google and just google it red cross office in so 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 and so city red cross office in that city you can find their address you can go there and go to them uh, go to them in physical don't just even call go to their office there in physical they will integrate you back so easily also characters yes yes characters is also there they have been helping people too to you know reintegrate them back help them get sojourn okay so another place you can go if you're also a migrant who is just coming back you can go to a good lawyer immigration lawyer who is going to help you a lot of people who came back who use lawyer at the end of the day they put them in a hotel questora pays the government pays and then from there they walk to find them a camp to stay and also get them sojourner yeah so you can use a very good lawyer if you have one immigration lawyer and also remember that um you can also go to official immigration if you want to go back to spra or maybe you want yes you just returned also you can go to official immigration too and there they could uh, recommend you a place where you can go to uh give you a letter so you can go to that camp and join them or, or the spra you know so these are places options you can use to reintegrate yourself back as soon as you're coming back to italy to start a new life afresh don't be scared that you won't get sojourn a lot of people who came back through this way using a lawyer especially uh, because even these calves uh characters red cross they always find lawyers for people like you guys who are returning so please make use of them okay yes you're having a zero political you're wondering can you travel direct to your country yes it's possible to travel direct but you need an authorization PIPA certificate whatever you call it from Questora that authorizes you to make that journey but sometimes it's just a short journey maybe two weeks three weeks not more than one month yes but should I say you should do that no please don't try that okay in as much it is possible very much possible even your lawyer will tell you that it is possible but even in Questora they will tell you yes it's possible they can give you that certificate that later so that when you travel there you cannot get any problem you can come back smoothly because they have authorized you to do so remember it must be something important urgent necessary that you have to go there and do you know so that is why they will issue that authorization letter but please do not try to use that method at all use your head okay use your head don't try to use it i'm just trying to tell you that there's a way but please don't use it please now are you going to travel back anytime soon back home or from anywhere to nigeria remember you need a traveling permit certificate also known as a qr code yes now 
the Nigerian government have updated the information. Yes, I'm going to drop the link where you can apply for this uh, traveling certificate in the international um, traveling uh, portal of Nigeria. Yeah, I'll drop the link in the description box. But if you also need it, just write me in the comment section. I'll just drop it down for you there. So now they are saying that in this time that you must fill in the uh, the traveling certificate. You know, you have to fill it online, you know, also known as a QR code. You have to fill it online and also attach your COVID-19 test. Not more than four days. So you can do the one of two days, three days, but not more than four days. That's 96 hours. Not more than four days. Anything more than that will be rejected. So remember that you cannot submit the traveling certificate form online without the COVID uh, test result. It won't even submit at all. So two of them goes hand in hand. So that's what they are saying. So they are also saying that you have to make the payment also there. So now remember that um, most uh, people will say that um, are children involved? Yes, before they say children are free, but now they said even children have to do the COVID test. Under 10 years have to do the test and also fill the form online and submit together. Okay, adults, the same thing. Also, diplomats, the same thing. You have to fill the traveling certificate form online and do the COVID test. Yes, but one thing, they gave a bonus. <laughs> they gave a bonus. This bonus is that you who is a uh, diplomat and a child under 10 years you, ha you don't have to redo the test when you arrive in nigeria you know when going back you don't have to redo the test anymore that one will be free that's bonus from the government can't you see they are so nice they are so nice man so now this is what i call dog chop dog dog chop dog because now this time to make more money making more money so that's why they are doing it online ask me where is this money going to definitely to their own account which they have created so yeah this is this is booming time for them man dog chop dog man so that is it so now um they said you have to do it online but now remember that some people said hey when we want to travel they refuse us entry yes because without this form they will not allow you to board you know the airline so even some people said we filled the form but this airline did not allow us to board but now they are saying no problem no problem at all that now you have to go online fill this form remember there's a place they can get uh, at the top right corner you see where you see a place written uh, get get permit get permit so you click there to download it and automatically it goes to your email you get it by your email you can print it out so that when you're boarding you can just show it to them so most of the form when you pay online it will come out last as paid why will be some will be unsuccessful why some will be processing whatever so they said whichever one you see there still print it out you know and um, use it to board no problem maybe when you arrive you have to settle them somehow I don't know so that is what they are saying so without that please traveling will be so difficult for you and you may miss your flight or lose your money or have to top up money or whatever so please make sure you get the traveling certificate permit okay also known as a qr code okay so so that you will not uh, miss your flight or lose money okay so that's what they are saying updated information so i will leave it in the description box so they can go get it there the link where you can find this uh, uh traveling certificate permit uh, also known as a qr code and fill it up okay and attach your covid 19 test not done more than four days okay all right that is it that is it Oh man, it's crazy man. It's getting hot here. I remember just truly chi. So remember, show me love and like on my video. Share to your friends on WhatsApp, Facebook. Tell them that chi is here to spread the love, man, and the info, man, <laughs> at the same time, man. So remember to subscribe, press the bell for more notification. Let's see in the comment section. You know how we do things over there. I'll catch you guys there as quick as possible. That's chi for you. All right, I'm signing out. I'm chi. Ciao.